This is the wooden camera director's monitor cage version 3, and it occupies a pretty niche space as far as video production tools go. It's essentially just a rectangular aluminum cage with carbon fiber handles that you put a monitor in. Mounting your monitor inside the cage will allow you to take the video feed to other locations on set. A product like this can allow more people to watch a video feed during a production, and this could be incredibly helpful. But for the hefty fee of $299, is the product you're getting worth it? And being a version 3, how refined is the design? We're going to find out. The Wooden Camera Director's Monitor Cage version 3, or the DMC3 as we're going to call it, looks really impressive. The black painted metal and the carbon fiber handles look professional, but of course you're going to need a few extra products for this package to really make sense. I took my DMC3 and outfitted it with an Atomos Shinobi 7 external monitor, a Hollyland Mars Pro 300 wireless HDMI system, a 35mm HDMI cable from Small Rig, and three Sony MPF batteries, two to power the monitor and one to power the HDMI receiver. This makes for a compact and efficient system for monitoring a camera feed or for pulling focus. You could operate this cage using a monitor that's plugged in, but where it really shines is through battery powered operation. When you power the components on this cage with a battery and use a wireless video signal, you can genuinely go cable free and walk around your set with this monitor. But if you do need to put it down, there's a hole for a baby pin and a screw on tightener at the bottom if you want to put the cage on a stand, but we'll talk more about that later. To start, I really like the hinged back design. It comes out by unscrewing one of two thumb screws on the side and allows you to access the entire back of your video monitor without having to use any tools. The DMC3 touts universal compatibility with monitors up to 9 inches tall, and I found no exceptions. The cage accepted my Atomos Ninja V and my Atomos Shinobi 7 pretty well. Although when it comes to mounting, the cage doesn't use any guide pin holes that come on these monitors, so there's really only one screw on the top and the bottom, which means the monitor could develop play after a while, and that you should consider periodically checking on those screws to make sure they don't loosen. I do wish the back plate was more universally friendly for mounting options. There are no half inch or quarter 20 mount points, only specific mounting points for V mount and gold mount hole patterns and for Teradek receivers. It would have been nice to see some more universal mounting points on the back of the cage as they've included on the top and the bottom rail. Oh well. One small note about the top and the bottom of the cage is that it doesn't protect your monitor very well. When you mount a monitor to the DMC3, it sits in front of the cage and not inside it. It would have been nice to see an option to recess the monitor into the cage to protect it more. Let's change gears a bit and talk about the construction. Now, in the marketing material for the DMC3, Wooden Camera touts that the design is 33% lighter than the original version. And this lightness can be credited to the use of carbon fiber handles on this version 3 design. Particularly, the carbon fiber handles and the carbon fiber 15 millimeter rods. But when I got my unit, I was kind of disappointed to see that the 15 millimeter rods were made of just black painted steel. I checked the web page to confirm and it showed carbon fiber rods. Even the box showed carbon fiber 15 millimeter rods. So I sent an email to Wooden Camera to confirm what was going on. Maybe my unit just had some random steel rods that they threw in and Wooden Camera actually got back to me. They told me that they had stopped producing the DMC3 with carbon fiber 15 millimeter rods because they had a problem where the rod and the mount, the clamp for the handle were slipping, causing the whole thing to kind of just come apart. Wooden Camera reassured me that the steel option was a better choice for this design. That's fine and all, and Wooden Camera, I'm happy you fixed the problem for your customers, but when you pay extra money for the promise of carbon fiber materials and you're given steel and no explanation, you can't help but feel a little disappointed. As a result of this change, I would have liked to see a price reduction on the unit and better communication as to why they made the switch. Another area a Wooden Camera could have improved with this product is with the hardware. The DMC3 generously provides a bunch of screws to mount signal receivers from different brands. However, the included Allen key for tightening down the screws holding your monitor to the cage on my unit just flat out didn't fit. Like it's just the wrong size. 
Sure, I mean, if you spend this type of money on a monitor cage, you probably have an Allen key set somewhere, but then why even include this key? It doesn't fit any other screws in the set. I'm led to believe that they just made the wrong size of Allen key. There are other accessories in the box that I do appreciate. There are a few Velcro options for cable management, and the included neck strap is of good enough quality. However, these are some of the cheapest crab clips I have ever seen, and I would not trust them long term. A positive to think about with this design is the included monitor hood. It mounts via these two snaps on the top of the cage, and then it wraps around the bottom where you'll secure it with a Velcro patch. I can't tell you how many times I've been shopping for an optional monitor hood and the hood itself is either wildly expensive or only mounts to a specific type of cage that I don't want to buy. Wooden Camera's implementation of the shade as part of their cage is an instance of a great idea. Wooden Camera even advertises you can take the sunshade and wrap it around the monitor to protect it during transport, a feature that I can appreciate. Another thing that could be better for you than it was for me is the baby pin on this monitor cage and how you mount it to a stand. I had difficulty getting this cage to stay still and not wobble about on the spigots and the pins in my kit. It's because the hole for the pin in the bottom of this cage is extra large to accommodate pins of different sizes. So again, this might not be an issue for those who are using bigger stands, but for myself, this was a pain to mount on a light stand or a C stand. I mean, it's not going anywhere. I don't think it's going to fall off and break, but is it an elegant solution? I don't think so. Now for a bit of subjective reviewing. The cage itself feels cheap, and that might be because the aluminum weighs next to nothing. This cage is incredibly light. It gives the whole setup a light and airy feel, which is fine as long as it holds up to the kind of abuse you would expect on a video production set. And over several shoots handing this thing to clients, it's never fallen apart, but it doesn't necessarily inspire confidence either. It's super light, which is a good thing, and to give wooden camera credit, when there is a monitor inside, the entire thing becomes rock solid. So wooden camera probably factors in the rigidity of having a monitor into the build to bring everything together. However, as far as the metal quality goes, I find that products from small rig, tilta, and especially shape parts feel more solid to me generally. However, I have no way to test it, it's just a subjective opinion. Now on to my biggest issue with the cage, which is the compatibility of MPF batteries on larger 7-inch monitors. It's a pain. I can only swap the batteries if I take apart the cage or remove the top bar. Mounting right side up or upside down, the MPF batteries on the Shinobi bump right up against the cage. Therefore, you can install a Shinobi with batteries into the cage and close the back, but you can't remove the dead batteries without removing the monitor from the cage. This sucks for users of MPF style batteries and larger monitors. And it's no wonder the wooden camera shows gold mount batteries being used in every promotional image for the product. Again, to give wooden camera credit, it's likely that V mount and gold mount are the dominant options for this cage. But the MPF batteries fit right between the backplate, and I think they look pretty good. You get great run times on them. I can't help but think that this issue could have been avoided with some more planning. To wrap up then, I've never felt so mid about a product. I'm happy I found such a lightweight, compact system sold by a brand that I generally trust to provide me a good product. And the product is fine, but it's far from exceptional. Owning the DMC3 has helped me understand why some people choose to build their monitor cages from parts on the market rather than go with a pre-built unit. So suppose you're in the market for a director's monitor cage. What should you buy? Well, I would give a light recommendation to the wooden camera director's monitor cage version 3, if you can deal with the compromises. I would also recommend checking out similar products from Shape or Nitsi. Or you could just build your own. Thank you for watching, my name is Josh Diaz, and this is the first of hopefully a few reviews that I'll be putting on my channel. I hope to look at more products that kind of bridge the gap between entry level video production and incredibly high quality cine production type tools. And this is one of them that I'm kind of happy with. We'll see. We'll see what the next products are. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.